Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back, thank you for joining me today, oh I did my nails, I even did a little bit of nail art on the thumbs and then I broke these two on a door or something, so they're done but they're not that great, I hope this video finds you well, are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new here, hello, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Apparently, chrome is the thing that's in. So we're going to have a look at different chromes, different prices, low price, medium price, and high price, we're going to test them all and have a little chrome off. We're going to start with the Born Pretty Metallic Drawery Gel, Dex Shush, um, which is from Born Pretty. I'm going to give them a stir. This one comes in at $4.99, that's in US dollars. You can get three for $12.99. This is the gold one. I'm stirring it a lot because it seems to sort of separate quite quickly but I don't think I needed to because it kind of blends itself not blends itself sorry stirs itself kind of as you're applying it because you are disturbing does that make sense I'm not going to go any more any further with that <laughs> so I'm going to use an applicator and we're going to do a full nail and then I'll give that a full cure and then this one is Again, a Born Pretty store one, which is more of a, a rose gold, which you'll see more now we stir it. Um, so we'll do a full nail. It's difficult to get a mirror finish. Well, I think it's probably impossible to get a mirror finish with a gel chrome because you're always going to shh, Dexter. You're always going to get brush strokes, but it's mostly, it works better when you're using it for detail and things, but we're going to see what a full nail looks like anyway. I'm not putting much on at all, and I'm actually pressing quite firmly. I found that was easier to get fewer brush, st brush strokes to press firmly, which doesn't make sense really, but I did try it a couple of ways. So we're full curing that, and that's then before topping, we'll top them. You can get 20% off at Born Pretty Store using the link in the description and the code MissJo20. So we will top these and then we're also going to paint some detail with them because I think that's where chrome gel works best and looks most chromey, <laughs> most shiny and metallic. So we'll cure that. I'm going to do the same thing with all of them so they all have the same kind of test. So we're going to do a couple of stripes, one with this colour which is called battle angel and then the next one which is a gold i really like this gold um and then are you okay my love he's on the sofa next to me and he's deciding to turn in 75 circles before he commits to a spot <laughs> my beautiful little weirdo so this is the what brush am i using i'm using the madame glam long liner is it called the long liner i think so or striper. No, it's a long liner. Um, so I'm going to, I'm flashing that in place and then we're going to do some stars. We're going to do galaxy stars, which is what I call these dot, dot stars. So just a dot of the product and then pull uppity up, downity down, leftity left and rightity right. And you have yourself a galaxy star. And then we're going to do a star star, a normal star as well. I think I've seen a few sets where people use chrome for stars and things, stars and moons and whatnot, and I love it. May I just love stars and moons, I think that's why. And then you'll see when I do this star, when I fill it in, I try to, how am I going to describe this? Um, I try to not put the pressure of, uh, not put not that not let the brush press down too much on the nail as I'm filling this in I kind of want to float the product over the center to give it a smooth surface of the star and then I thought let's write some letters 
and uh, let's write love, why not? You might notice that that part of the nail has been wiped. Don't wipe over the, a bit. well, it's been wiped because I messed it up, but don't wipe over the chrome gel before you top it or anything because you'll uh, fuck it up, basically. <laughs> That's the professional term. So we'll pop some letters on and then we'll give that a full cure. I actually double cured. Oh, I had the shakes as well. I was so hungry when I was filming this and I hadn't eaten all day, but I just, I had to get the video done. So that's why I'm a bit shaky um, in some places. And I'm always resting on a nerve as well. Um, so that, that combination made me a bit j jiggly. <laughs> and then we're topping and we'll cure it. And you can see, I think, the chrome looks a lot better with the detail, even on the lines um, and with the letters than it does as a full nail, which I think is just the way gel chromes are. So that's the Born Pretty Store one. This is them together. Battle Angel and what's the gold one called? I can't remember, um, but I will put links to them in the description box as well if you want to get those so that's that one the next one we have is from Vetsy these come in at what am I saying come in at these come in at $8.99 each um, this is the silver one it's the number 001 and then this one is a sort of champagne colored one which is 003 so we'll do exactly the same. So it's a nice fair test using an application brush. This brush, 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 brush. This brush is from Vetsy as well. I think it's a good idea if you are using chromes for full nails or, you know, using a, an applicator brush to apply chrome in wherever, assign a brush just to that because I think even if you clean it well I think there's always going to be remnants it's just one of those things that's what I think anyway I feel it in my bones um so we're doing full coats of those and curing look how opaque they are and with the born pretty store ones and with the next one we use I'm hardly using any and they're so opaque that's on just a, a plain nothing on it nail the little dots the little air bubbles you see now I'm pretty sure from the top coat I used um it's some old one I found at the back of a drawer um and it's nearly run out so I was kind of shaking the bottle a lot so I think that's why there's bubbly looking bits on there and then again we'll do some stripes and some details and this is really where chrome sort of What's the f***ing word I'm looking for? Um, c comes into its own. This is where chrome comes into its own. It stands out. It does its best work with detail. It looks the most chromey, the most metallic, and the most shiny. Um, I wonder if it's because you're not getting lots of brush strokes in it with small detail. Therefore, you can sort of float the product a bit. Um... And it has less, yeah, less brush strokes going through it. So it's going to look the most flat and smooth. I've just got a message that I need to read because it's from my mum and she's in Florida and I just saw the word shooting. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. There has been a shooting. Oh, my word, in Orlando where a chap went and shot a little girl. Oh, my God. And an adult. And then he went back to the house where the news reporters were and shot one of them. What the fuck is wrong with people? I must have... Right, no shade at all to the country or its people. But when anybody I know is over there, especially my parents, there was just an underlying anxiety until the second they get back to England. Just that they're walking around uh, where people can just have a gun. It just makes me so uncomfortable. Oh, that's horrible. Also, a road accident killing two. Two huge trucks and cars involved. They let trucks go in the fast lane here and travel at quicker speeds than we allow, so not surprising. Jesus. That's horrendous. When there's a shooting over there, is it like headline national news? 
like all over the country? Or is it like not that big a deal anymore? I don't mean that insensitively. I'm genuinely curious because that is awful. Oh my word. Right, I'm writing hope, ironically. Um, I'm gonna take a sec. Okay, second's been taken. I am now back to nails, back to nails. I'm top coating this with the same top coat again. So this is a nice fair test. And again, the detail looks a lot shinier and chromier than the full nail. So I'd say this is about on the same level as the Born Pretty one. Before we move on to the next chrome, we will talk about today's sponsor, which is Julia. They are premium artisan jewelers. They've sponsored a few videos now and I've got a bunch of their pieces and I absolutely love them. So this is my latest piece. It is the Julia Classic Heart Cut Ring. It's a bit girly for me, isn't it? But I was in a girly mood and I've been in a bit of a girly mood recently. So I went for a heart and I chose the fuchsia colour of their stones. So you can change the colour of the band. You can change the colour of the heart stone and of the stones either side of it. And as you select the changes on the website, it shows you in the picture so you can see what it will look like. This is, again, like the other things I've got from them, so sparkly i'm wearing it right now and it looks like it's glowing it doesn't show as well on camera how just oh so gorgeous and so sparkly and that fuchsia is stunning the quality of their stones is amazing it is so i'm I, i'm staring at it now it is so sparkly and so pretty you can get money off your orders at julia if you use the link in the description and the discount code Miss Jo 15. I'll put a link to all the pieces I have as well. I know I tend to go for the tamer pieces, but they have some really funky stuff on there. So I highly recommend you go and check them out. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love this ring. Let's get back to some nail stuff. And now we're moving on to the Madame Glam Silver Chrome Gel Paint. This one comes in at $14.98. Uh, scents. That's it. Um, that's for the VIP, which I think is the best thing to do with Madame. If you're using, you know, if you're going to plan on using Madame Glam products, get VIP. The price you pay per month comes off whatever you order. Um, and it was 29 something if you're not VIP, in which case use the link in the description and the code MISSJO30 for a whopping 30% off. So it is more expensive, but that definitely shows. Do you agree? Let me know if you agree. This, that, um, the Madame Glam one, you can see the reflection of my red hoodie in it, whereas the others, you can't see any reflection. And I think if I had applied, if I had applied this better, uh, maybe I need to practice that, it would be a lot a lot better probably the same with all of them but that one's definitely shinier straight off the bat straight out to bat straight off the don't know straight off the bat whatever um than the other two but saying that you need if you're doing a full coat over a whole nail you're never going to get mirror chrome anyway like a mirror smooth mirror with a gel i don't think so is the detail that much better than the detail with the other ones? Let's find out. So again, I'm going to do two lines. Um, the second one, I thought I'd do a lot thinner and then I I was losing concentration halfway down, halfway down the line. So it got a bit closer to the other one. So I had to thicken it up a bit. Um, and then we'll do again some stars, maybe a moon. I'm sorry if you can hear Dexter licking his poor Dex. Dexter. Are you okay, my sweets? Yes? Good boy. Um, what was I talking about? I just did a bit of a, a Googleization of the shooting. And apparently this kid was like 19 and had loads of, um, like a really long rap sheet of all these other... How has he got a gum? I thought they did background checks. 
Well, he's obviously maybe he's got it illegally. But if they, you know, he didn't have any, he wouldn't have got one. And a little nine-year-old girl would still be. I just, ah, oh. it's just mind-boggling for me. And when I say me, I mean Europe. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not making light of the situation at all. Um, I'm just, yeah, it's just fuck. It's just fucked up, isn't it? There's these things that kill people, and people just have them. You know, it's just horrible that they were f***ing invented in the first place. <sighs> I hope everyone over there is okay at another horrible event. It's put me in a bit of a weird mood, to be honest. Let's change the subject. Um, we're going to do both types of stars and a moon. And is it me? Or did I just do a cracking moon? I'm quite happy with that moon. I think it's the best moon I've ever done. And it looks amazing in chrome. So we're going to add some dots, probably... I'm just redotting the galaxy stars. If you lose the dot when you pull up, uppity, uppity, lefty, lefty, downity, downity, rightity, rightity. If you lose the center dot, just go over and redot it just to get that definition of the dot in the center. And then we're writing glam on this side. Can smell I'm glam. See what I did there? I know, fucking genius. Um, it has again been wiped on that side because I couldn't get the G right. Dexter, please, I'm, oh, I really hope that I don't listen to this back and all you can hear is Dexter slobbering away, licking his paws. Why are you licking your paws? I've checked them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're absolutely fine. You're being a drama queen. Lovely bum. And I think this... This, so this is the most expensive of them. We are going to get chrome powders as well, pigments. Um, but I do think this shows that it's more expensive. I think the other two seem to be very similar formulas. Whereas this one is definitely different. But if the price puts you off, see how shiny that looks. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it's not even topped yet. Um, but if the price pitch you off, I think when it comes to detail and you're, you want to try Chrome, but you're not sure whether you want to spend X amount or whatever, try a, a cheaper one first, because if, you, if you're going to just use it for small detail, I don't think there's that much in it, but there definitely is something in it. <laughs> Is that helpful? Am I being helpful? So we've got the Born Pretty gold and rose gold and then the black one with love. You can see that it definitely, I'm going to say this again, but it definitely does look shinier and chromier with smaller details as opposed to going over the whole nail. And then we've got the Vetsy silver and sort of champagne-y colour and then the Hope nail, which is similar, you can see, to the Born Pretty detail similar level of shine and chromeness chromosity and then we have the madame glam one which is the last silver one and the black black one on the end and you can definitely in the full cover one massive difference i would say it's the only one look you see my red top in it and you don't see that in the others um and then so therefore the detail is shinier it definitely is they have only got the silver one at the moment i hope they bring out other colours, but I think the others we've got here work just as perfectly for little details. So we have done the gel chromes. We've also got some chrome pigments, which also from Born Pretty. And they sent me three, these three things, which I'm going to show you quickly before we do the chrome pigments, which are much better for full nail chroming. Um, they sent me these sparkly, oh, so freaking sparkly um, striper. Well, they're painting gels um, and they are jam freaking packed with glitter. Oh, look at it. Look at ah. Um, oh, that's amazing. It needs a bit of a stir, but that is so, it's so much sparklier in person than it ever shows on camera, which is really frustrating. Um, and then this last one is called blue shafted what does shafted mean <laughs> seriously what does shafted mean i'm googling it 
<laughs> okay, I've Googled it. <laughs> I'm going to do a stripe of each of these on a black nail. And then I'm going to tell you what shoved means. <laughs> I will just say that these are so jam-packed with glitter. If it was a sort of clearish base, you know, base colour that this was in with just a bit of glitter, you wouldn't get a crisp line. But this is so jam-packed full of bits of glitter that there's no gaps in the line we're making. Does that make sense? You see how I'm getting a crisp, straight line with glitter? Whereas you would think if it was tiny bits of glitter, you're not going to get a straight edge. But it's so jam-packed and opaque that we're getting a nice, crisp line. Apparently, I forgot to press record when I did the blue one. So we'll get these on, we will top, we'll cure, and then we'll top. So shaft, <laughs> it says here, did you mean shifted? So I said no. And the only result I can find, well, the first result is from the Urban Dictionary. So we know this is going to be good. And it says, the act of taking powdered drugs, applying to one's pinky finger, like a polish? No. Pinky finger and packing it, <laughs> and packing it into one's anal cavity. <laughs> and then it says, this is generally used to test quality. <laughs> I would not expect the anal cavity to be the best way to test quality of a powder drug. Never done powder drugs. Um, but never knew it up the bum was a thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Can you imagine you're all in a night out? Should we? Yeah, yeah, right. Pants down. <laughs> anyway, right. So I don't think that's what they meant by blue shafted. Um, I'm sure there's a different meaning of it somewhere. Chrome pigments. These, so I started to apply this with an applicator brush, um, but it wasn't enough sort of friction on the nail because we're applying this to a top coated, so it's been topped. I did it black and then I topped it with a shiny no wipe top coat. I'm going to overcap the free edge there, which is what I do with people turn the hand upside down and really overcap the free edge. So then I switch to my finger because there's more kind of. I don't know, just clamminess, I guess, to rub it onto that. And that is stunning. This one, oh my word, this one is my new favourite gold chrome. This is also from Born Pretty. I'll link these in the description as well. Look at this. Ah, oh, it's the perfect gold. It's not too yellow. It's not too orange. It's not cool. It's a warm goldy goldy gold gold <laughs> I love it so much so this is the way to go if you want a full chrome nail with no brush strokes or anything like that there are some specks some sparkly specks in these I think because I've got um glitter on the dust brush the duster I was using to dust off so I think I've got some glitter on them or it's in the top coat um, and now it's on my black nail, the gold. Um, but this, where was I going? Yeah, this is how you're going to get a smooth, really chrome look. And you want to, you can use a silicone tool. I think that's a bit of a, you know, a bit faffy personally. And I think you get the best result using your finger. Um, I know it might not look super professional, but you know. If it looks the best, then go with that. And then rub it, burnishing it in, so rubbing it into that cured, shiny top coat. And then dusting off, so any loose bits, dust off. And then you get, oh, you see, I've got the sparkly bits there. That's from the duster. Actually, it's from the gold, you can see. Um, and that is the best way to get a full coverage chrome. This purple... Also, out of this world, bananas gorgeous. <gasps> oh, f that's so nice. Um, I had to switch to using my other hand. So because my left hand is my dominant hand, I'm trying to do the work <laughs> with my left hand and moving the stick. Um, but with chromes like this, that you put onto a no wipe shiny top coat that has been cured. They're gripping onto a shiny cured surface. 
So whatever you put on top, this stuff, the top coat, that's got pretty much all. I'm really this evening, sorry, to grip onto. It's it's gripping onto a very fine. Oh, look at those. <gasps> It's gripping onto a very, very fine powder that in turn is sitting on a shiny, cured, dry surface. This is why chromes can wear at the tip um, quicker than a gel polish would. There's no way around it. You just have to file a bit and over cap. That's going to be your safest bet. It's not you, it's science. <laughs> So this is all of them. I've swatched the glitters as well. We've got the pigment chromes, which are definitely the best for full coverage. And then these, which are fantastic for detail. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best, the Born Pretty, the Vetsy or the Madame Glam. And don't forget those codes for all of those places in the description box for money off. I appreciate you being here so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, mm -hmm.